Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to show you the outfit is giving um oh my god my neighbor is doing her garden <laughs> and she just saw me on top of the ladder because my blinds are up anyway this is the fit it's giving um presentable it's giving construction site model you know <laughs> I'm gonna go and grab um, some bin bags and just put them on the carpet because I don't want to stain the carpet and then we will get to painting. I got a five liter paint, it's quite big. It's this color because I think that's the color of the brand but the actual color of the paint is pink. So I have just done the first bit on this wall. I've done the filler, I've finished using the filler. And basically what I was doing is, you just get the cock, and then this is a cock gun. You can get them on Amazon. Oh, I just came from downstairs, yeah. So basically, when you do this, it pushes out the liquid and then go all through the crack and then once you're done pushing out the liquid you sort of have to line it with your finger sometimes when you're lining up the liquid with your finger what happens is the filler could spill out to the sides and it just looks ugly so what i normally do for that is just get water and soap solution spray a bit on it and then line it to your finger and that just gives you a very crisp and clean look so i've done this side like this part of the door and this part i did the top over there and i've done the bottom here and then i also did that corner over there i do have to do this part where the dresser is because i push i had to push the push because i had to push the dresser in because i had to push the dresser to that side yo i cannot speak save my life anyway let me show you how it's looking um let me take out the camera from the tripod and then i show you guys how it's it looks when i've put the filler on so yeah if you can see now basically there was a crack there and it's disappeared and also over there at the top so once it dries up because right now it's looking a bit silver-ish, like you can actually see the demarcation line. But once it clears up, once it dries up, it dries up completely white. So that's going to disappear. And then also I did over here, as you guys can see, because there was a crack there too. And I've also lined here as well. And that's gone. Before I even get started, I need to cover up this carpet because I'm not about to stain the carpet. So I'll just do that quickly and then we can get started. That's the fun part. But um, I'm going to sort of stay away from the bits where I've added the filler because technically you should wait for about two hours before you can paint over the filler. So I'm not going to do the edges for now all the parts where I've put the filler. So I'm just gonna start painting the wall. My husband, wherever you are, I hope you're good with DIY. Well, no, actually, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be so filthy rich, I'll never really need you to do DIY, but it will still be nice if you can actually do a bit of DIY here and there. I 
way it's white and everything but yeah it's the one that we use when we're covering up the carpet when we paint so it's okay but i think i'm gonna go and get a few bin bags as well before we do that i want to show you guys the paint color the battery is low how the lid looks can you see that pink it looks kind of whitewashed on camera but it is actually like a proper legit pink like Later that same evening. Hey guys, <laughs> it's actually hours later. I have only done one wall. This entire time, remember we started painting at like 3:30. Only did one wall, and then I took time putting the tape, which actually took a bit of time. And then I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna take a break. And then I took a break, and then I just started watching TV. And now it is three minutes to nine o'clock in the PM. We've just done one wall. Shame, shame, shame. Shame! Let me tell you guys, yo, I love it. I love it. This is just one coat. And I like it. Like, it's so pretty. Ah. I'm wasting time. Let me, I'm gonna start on this wall. The one for the window. Like, it's, guys, it's literally dark outside. Like, do you see that? It's bloody dark. I'm out there up around and it's just I keep it happy and I do what makes me happy. And the body can't deny me that I'm blessed. These kind of things they deserve celebration No hesitation, no reservation Go for the big leagues, no relegation Let's celebrate life, kick back and take life And give thanks to the source that create life To see a sunset, or see a sunrise And see my sun burn, with these same eyes To see my sun smile, bright in every gray sky He's going so fast, that's why every day I Give it one on ten, last hour nineteen Praise the Almighty, the Father I like him progress so far so i've done a second coat on this wall that one over there because i want to push the dresser back to that side so that i can actually do this wall but yeah so two coats on this wall and then this one i mean yeah that part for the front and then this part of the window i've just done one coat for that side it's currently 11 13 and i'm just gonna move it right now just before i can um before i can do it yeah before i can start on this wall Oh, 
call me, say they come talk me, scared to the touch. We say what's up, we say what's going. Next to each other, we call them in. Back then, we would call them in. Hey. Hey. Niggas ain't gotta respect. Niggas just gotta accept. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. High Williams, no X. If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on her hand. I let her take an advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the van. She got a move with a friend. But she went back to her man. Give a fuck. I just put a wagon in the driveway. You know I did. When I shoot my shot, it's still a wild way. It's going in. Me and love sick on sitting sideways. Breaking tents. Used to be an anti-social nigga. Now I'm making friends. I just got a mansion out in Texas. And it's a beach front. Did she bring it for friends? I know I hit at least one. Got a mile, ten and bottle. Yesterday, I did the second coat on all the walls. I did show you guys that. Today's the third day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I'm i low-key panicking. <laughs> I'm low-key panicking about how pink this pink is. I don't even know how it looks on camera, but it's really, really pink in here. Like, it's hella pink. I'm talking, I genuinely wanted it to be, like, more of um, a lighter pink. Definitely lighter than this. But this is what we have now. Yesterday, the entire night, I literally was just on Etsy looking at like furnishings that I can use making sure that this bedroom doesn't end up looking childish because yes I like pink but yo my, I'm so used to my bedroom being really bright and white and everything is just like clean I love color but I just hope I know what I'm doing I do have an idea of what I can do and today I'm just gonna be painting the ceiling I'm just gonna be doing white for that it's already white but it just needs to be refreshed so I bought some paint from Amazon some white paint from Amazon, here it is. And yeah, I'm just gonna use this on the ceiling. And then I am low-key excited how I'm gonna channel my creativity because I feel like it's easy for anyone to do deco for a room that has white walls because it's, it's easy to do. There's no colors that are making anything complicated. Also, I went to um, Tesco and I got tape that I need to use on the walls. But I also got some, is this the primer? Yeah, that's the primer. So I'm gonna be painting the doors and the skirting, cause as you guys can see, um, let me just zoom in so you guys can see. But yeah, like the skirting is really worn out, so that needs to be fixed. It looks like that because I'm pretty sure when they painted the skirting and the door, I don't think they used primer and that's why the paint is peeling. So I got some primer for that. And then I also got the glossy paint for the door and the skirting. I'll show you guys what my room currently looks like. From the door, it is hella pink in here. I'm talking, it literally looks like a teddy bear's room. <laughs> that's the situation. Um, that's the door. So as you guys can see, like the door really just looks so beach. The paint really needs to be refreshed. Baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' slide 
next day. Hello you guys! I finished painting, I finished doing everything and I'm actually just about to start editing this video because it's actually going out tomorrow. So I wanted to show you guys what my room is currently looking like. I finished painting, I finished doing everything and I actually put all the things back into my room the way they used to be. So here's the thing, this is not an official room tour because I have actually not NOT, capital NOT, I haven't finished decorating my room. I still haven't finished decorating my room. I just did the painting. So everything is the way it used to be before, but now the walls are pink. That is the only difference. However, this pink is literally everything that I needed my room to give. Like, I am so happy I did this. You know, one thing I have realized is sometimes with all the trends happening and everything happening on the internet, sometimes you can see so much of something and convince yourself that that's what you want for yourself. Because honestly, for the longest time, I really thought I was a neutral girl when it came to interior. When it comes to my outfit, I really love wearing color. Like, I'm never really the person who's gonna be wearing what everyone else is wearing. I am always gonna be wearing color. I wear lots of color. And I just don't know why in interior, interior i just lied to myself that i'm one of the white walls type of girl because uh -uh, ain't no way i once showed my uh, my previous room well the same room but with white walls um i showed one of my cousins how my room looks like <laughs> when my walls are white and he dead has said to me it looks nice but it looks, it looks like a hospital and i was like but anyway i'm gonna show you guys what my room is currently looking like and oh my god it literally it looks like a candy store you guys like i'm literally obsessed i love it so much so i still have so many more ideas i want to do um wall molding um i'm currently scouting for an easier way for me to do the wall molding i'm also gonna be adding curtains i'm gonna be doing a gallery wall you know i'm talking too much let me show you what it's giving <laughs> and guys look at that that is literally my bedroom oh my god so look at that look at that you guys um sorry sorry so this is how this side looks this is my least favorite side i'm not gonna lie because first of all even my desk i do wanna move it like a bit more to this side so that it can actually align with the bed because now it's more pushed out to that side but still it looks really good i love it oh my god let me close this door so that you guys can actually see everything properly i did refresh the paint on the doors you guys remember that i painted the skirtings that's properly done and then i have my little perfume collection over there my pink toothbrush and then my jewelry i moved them to this side they used to be there but now they're here and my little candles and cotton swabs with pink on it this is my laundry basket and then on this side still nothing much going on on there but guys honestly i cannot fault this like this makes me so happy this just makes me so happy and then over here on my bedside table these are things that i need all the time so they're always here um this are my journals and my headphones this is what i use to meditate and then my sleeping lip mask and the pillow mist i normally spray this before i sleep and it literally puts me right to bed and then this plant wasn't here it used to be on that other side like it was just hidden there because i hated it it's a fake plant um but i moved it here because i noticed pink and green it's really giving like it's really giving something it's giving something but um yeah guys this is what it looks like i am sorry i'm so in love with this guys like I'm, this is bothering me <laughs> please tell me that you love this because i am absolutely obsessed yeah guys um that is what my room currently looks like <laughs> i'm honestly so happy you guys like i can't even explain it honestly the pink just did every single thing that i wanted it to do just look at it look at look at my room has personality and character now you know the white walls it was giving don't sit in my room you're not welcome here because you will dirtify everything you know and right now my room is really looking like me so i'm not done like personalizing the space i really want to do so much more i want it to really look like enter and you're like yeah this is definitely chelsea's room like i can tell i can see her personality without her having to physically be here that's really what i want for my room so i'm so excited for this journey guys i'm really really happy with my bedroom <laughs> I'm so happy i just can't like can you see how much i love pink my gown is pink my bonnet is pink my room is pink and everything about me is pink and no shade to the neutral girls 
um, I'm not one of you. I am not one of you. I am proud to say that I'm not one of you. Get somebody else to do it. Mm -mm. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna end the video here. I feel like this pink room has given me a new personality, you know? Um, let's see where it's gonna take us. Um, leave a pink love heart in the comment section if you love this room. And let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!